Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you're going to get a real world review here by an average dude. No uh, endorsements uh, or any such thing, magazines. This is just uh, my opinion on the 1290 Adventure Mark. On our last mountain trip, 700 kilometers and various terrains such as this, uh, D grade uh, high speeds uh, on the uh, highway and then uh, water crossings, hill climbs, whatnot, uh, a little bit of everything. So. Give you the lowdown on it, uh, what you might run into out there, and, and uh, it'll be the real honest goods, no uh, fluff here. So it had rained uh, two, three days prior to this street. Uh, lots of rain in the area this summer. So we couldn't go too crazy on the gravel, you know, lots of grip in some spots, and then you'd hit that mud and spin, so uh, didn't go too crazy, uh, but we did get up to this and push it a little bit. Uh, uh, I've got some water crossings coming up here. Uh, I just want to give a shout out first to uh, Redline Powercraft in Grand Prairie, Alberta for allowing me to uh, take uh, this bike. Uh, I had one last year as well. Uh, I got about 3,600 kilometers in total on 1290. Um, I did have an Africa Twin uh, for a while too, and I've spent time on lots of other bikes. So I'm just going to give you the real good. So this is uh, the, the big crossing I guess it's not uh, very long but it's pretty deep uh, it's about up to the signal lights there as you see um, so two and a half feet plus and uh, I did ingest a little bit of water but very little in fact the bike sputtered for two three seconds max there was a GS 1200 on this trip uh, unfortunately he water uh, swamped her and uh, hydro locked it and the tools had to come out uh, we did get going again but did run into some wildlife here there's a black bear and I got a grizz on camera there coming on later uh, it is a mountain trip in, in the middle of nowhere in northern BC and so you do run into kind of some cool things I thought I'd throw them on there as well spruce up the review a bit uh, here you know it's a, this is a really good example of how a bigger bike uh, with power can get around uh, in the techie stuff and it's momentum um, hitting this stuff slow, you know, four or five, six inch uh, boulders here, it's all uneven ground. Yeah, it, it doesn't fare well. Uh, hit it with a little bit of momentum, and uh, it's a different story. So, it comes down to rider. I'm an average rider, so I struggled quite a bit on uh, the techie stuff with this bike. You may not, uh, but if, if you're an average rider or, or less, you're going to struggle, and, and it's going to be a chore. Um, it's just not made for, for that. What it's made for is what I'm doing here. And that's uh, wide open gravel ripping. And I don't think there's a better bike on earth uh, that can handle this. Other than the 1290 Avenger. It's, I can't get over the power and the handling of this bike. And as you can see, I'm spinning out a little bit in the, the mud there in the back, and still I got this thing up to 150 kilometers an hour here and, and coming up, and, and I didn't once feel unsafe. It just, this bike is a brute. Um, if you live in an area like this, and this you'd be crazy to buy anything else. If you live in a techie area where it's, uh, you know, slow going and lots of uh, steep descents and, 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 uphills then yeah it's not for you it, you know um, it comes down to rider big time there um, it's tall it's heavy you really feel it in those those circumstances uh, when it gets pretty techy speaking of tech um, technology this bike is crazy uh, with technology I'm not a fan um, you may want to punch me I don't know but I'm not a fan I I like wrenching. Uh, if I were to break down on the side of the road here, middle of nowhere, uh, I want to be able to try and fix it. At least uh, key fobs and, and I don't know, man. It just seems uh, too much for what the bike's made for. But again, maybe, um, you know, I'm bang on with this review and it's not made for that stuff. It is for the tough guy, the uh, big tripper and uh, the big wide open spaces because it's a barrel of fun there. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, well, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do eat shit here. And, uh, I was a camera guy for the majority of the trip. And I 
like, man, that looks cool. You, you know, let's get a picture of you coming through there. Go hit it. So I hit it a few times there, trying to get a good shot. And yeah, I ran a little skill here and put her down. And I was surprised. At it. No damage, man. Just uh, some scratches. That's it. Like not even near. That's a big heavy bike. Not, not a crazy hard crash, but it went down. Stoked on that. Uh, didn't cost me any money, really, uh, other than some touch of paint. And uh, it held together good. So kudos there for uh, for that. And then here's an uphill section here, all ruddy and stuff. And, and just blip the throttle on this thing. Just wheelies through all the you know little indents. It's amazing. But I apologize here. You know, there's the Grizz running down the, down the road for the. I apologize for the the uh, honking here. We actually had, uh, we're stopping here in about 200 yards to hike down and have lunch. So we just want to make sure that Grizz was out of here. Um, you're in the middle of nowhere, but you still run into some people like we did here. Uh, I went down this uh, ATV trail down to the river by myself, and then, uh, these guys rolled up, and they're, where the heck did you come from? And I tell them, and they didn't believe me, and they sure as heck didn't believe that I'd make it up. But I tell you, this isn't a uh, skill. Um, this bike's just a billy goat. It, uh, I'm hopping all over the place trying not to go down uh, with all my might. and uh, it, it just kept going. Man. So, in the end, that's what this bike's made for. Is somebody with loves power. Uh, wide open spaces. Um, you know, long trips. It's comfortable. The ergos are awesome. The headlight is amazing. Uh, I can't get over the bike. It's an awesome bike. But it's not for me. Uh, just put a deposit on a 2020 790. So stay tuned for a real world uh, uh, review on that. Uh, it's coming, and I'm stoked on that. I still like the techie stuff. Again, thanks to uh, Redline Powercraft for uh, giving me a bike for a trip and let me do a review on it. And uh, if you like this and, and want to see more, uh, yeah, go give us a follow on Instagram. And a uh, like on Facebook, uh, Backcountry Bandit. And we tell it as it is. Uh, all the best and thanks for tuning in.